there'll be various words used to describe this one ahead of the game, I would think. I've, you've probably had revenge mentioned to you already, but I just wonder with what's gone before against Real Madrid in your time here, what does that do for the mindset? What does that do for the mood within the dressing room ahead of the last 16 tie with them? I don't know. It's very different. I know there are different things that happened to us with Real Madrid, to, if you want to me. Uh, Dortmund, I have a Dortmund already a Real Madrid story. Um, and one of the biggest clubs in the world, most successful clubs for sure. Um, won this competition, I don't know how often. Um, and super experience. And our own story now, just recently, if you want. So we played this final in Paris, and I didn't watch it back since then until this weekend. So I, the thing I realized immediately now I know why I didn't watch it back. So, but I had to have a proper torture um, because we played a good game and we could have won the game, and that's a decisive goal. We could because we didn't. They scored a decisive goal. We didn't. And that was the reason. Um, you could see in this game how experienced uh, Madrid is, how little they are fussed by the fact when the, when, the, when the other team has chances. They don't lose confidence in one second. They know our chance will come. They are there for that. Then they defend with legs, deep defending together. So this is this team and that's the competition and that's what you can learn from them, definitely. But that's seven, eight months ago. Um, before that, the last time when, we, when they knocked us out, we played there on the training ground and here in an empty stadium. Uh, here the game was really good. It was a really good nil-nil where we had, we, 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 we had, yeah, we let them run. Let me say it like this, we let them work hard for the money and um, that was good. But this is now different teams, same clubs, different teams, different times. And so there's a history. In the last few years, one of us was kind of always in the final. That's how it feels at least. Um, and usually, if you want to go to the final, it's always you have to kick us out or them. This time we play each other. So let's see who can go through. Just taking team news, how's Darwin? Any chance that he'll be available to play? There's a chance. Um, from all the possible scenarios, we apart from being absolutely nothing, that's not the case. Um, we have to see how we can deal with the pain. Um, and when we know that, we have to make a decision. Tom? Yeah, again, um, obviously it's, it is different teams and whatever, but you've got the feeling that um, you've wanted to play Real Madrid at a full Anfield since 2018, since you lost to them in the, in the final, for them to actually come here and your team to be absolutely firing against them. Yeah, if that would be a one-leg game, just at home against Real Madrid, I would exactly say that. But I, I, I cannot. I pl played in a full Bernabeu as well, and that's a pretty impressive audience as well. Let me say it like this. So um, that will help, hopefully, tomorrow night. And I know our people will give the absolute everything. We, I, I can't wait to, to play the game really. But going then to the Bernabeu is a, is a tough place as well to go. So they turned around a lot of things. So and we didn't even we don't even have a lead yet. So that will be really hardest work. But who cares? It's Champions League, and it's um, how I said it's one of the biggest games in the world. At least the, one of the biggest game I ever heard about. And with the the, the 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 recent history with one of us in the final, blah blah blah, and 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 quite successful in the competition, difficult to play against. Um, grinding results out, all this kind of thing. It's a, it's a, it will be a top football game, and I'm, I'm really happy that we can play it now. Um, like four weeks ago, it would have been different, but life is all about timing, and maybe we found back our feet right in time um, for this game. Even when I would have expected us to be ourselves as well, even if we wouldn't have won the last two games, because it's a different competition, and you have to use this opportunity. But so now we have these two results and hopefully we can build on that. But we need to. We need to play a super game. We need to play two super games, to be honest, um, to get through. But I have no problem with that because if you don't play your best, you don't have a chance. Real Madrid doesn't have to play their best and still have a chance. <laughs> and that's the, that's the difference. And um, that's uh, pretty special. But I can't wait. 
Mike. Jürgen, how much encouragement do you draw, not just going into this Champions League game, but for the rest of the season, the last two performances and results, Liverpool looked a lot more like, like a team again? True, I did. Um, but we still have to we still have to to, to, to to prove that point. So that's that's how it is. Now that's a different competition and whatever we can take. But then it's after that is Crystal Palace. Um, so we need results. That's there's no, no shadow of a doubt. Um, we were already in a similar situation. I don't say performance wise, but result wise, we're in a similar situation directly after the World Cup break, I think, with the two wins, look like, oh, now we are there. So we have to prove that point. Uh, but you're right, it looks different and um, we feel it and we see it. Um, helps the mood massively. Um, and from here we have to go. So that's how it is. But um, for tomorrow night, whatever we would have done at the weekend, I would have expected us to, 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 to fight with all we have because this is a you always work so hard for qualifying for the Champions League. So I really think you have to cherish these moments where you just think, okay, that's Liverpool, Real Madrid. That's is if you if you, we all dreamt of that. We all did. And um that will never change that it will be a special game. And so um yeah. I expect Anfield on their toes, to be honest. I really happy for the people that they saw us in a better shape the last two games, that they have a bit more things to, 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 to look forward to. And yeah, let's go together again. Paul Joyce. Yeah, yeah, again, what, what did you... Sorry. Sorry, Joyce. Would it be fair to say Carlo and Real Madrid are probably the ultimate test in European football, Give it all the experience and everything what you're just saying there? Yeah, yeah, they are, they are. So what I said, uh, somebody told me, I don't know even if, it, if it's true or not, but um, that Carlos said after the final with Liverpool was cool that they know exactly what, we, what they will face. Be after the final, before the final, I don't know exactly. I, mean, I watch the game back now. If we know exactly what we will do, we have to win this game. We didn't. <laughs> um, for, for, for the one reason that we didn't score and conceded, uh, but apart from that, we should have won this game. Um, but Carlo is the most relaxed manager I ever met in my life, one of the best people you can meet. Fantastic person, humble person, super smart and nice. Um, and he obviously his man management is, 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 a, is a completely different level to all of us. Um, and I respect that a lot, I admire it a lot. And so, yes, with this world-class um, team, which they were last year, brought in super exciting young players, um, struggled a little bit in the league, I don't know if you can call that struggling, but Barcelona is just a few points ahead, um, but apart from that, they, they are always super, super competitive and super difficult to beat, and um, so, yeah, this combination is, is a difficult one, that's true, but I think it makes absolutely sense to try it anyway. <coughs> Jürgen, um, did you watch the game on your own? And, and Unfortunately, yes. On your, on your own, yeah. Yeah. And you said that um, you saw no sign of Madrid panicking during the game when they had. So, how, how do you change that? How do you, um, in this game, make them feel vulnerable? Is it the, 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 the intensity oh, yeah. that you play at? Or? So, in general, you, I don't think you can make this team. Panicking, so because if you, there were enough, there were enough reasons. So the chances we had and the, the, the saves Kudwa had to make, that's uh, where somebody could think, oh my God, um, we have to close this gap or close this gap. The, 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 even it, what, what, I, what it looked like, what held us a little bit back was the fact that it's a final. So we were not, we didn't take enough risk in, in, in little moments. We, we were not adventurous enough. We were super protective because the counter attacks, the possible counter attack threat. Um, rightly so, you know, we saw with the goal. Um, but so, <laughs> analyze is always super easy. <laughs> because especially with a year later, you can tell, oh, here we could pass this ball, and here we, we could pass that ball. But it was a little bit, of, when I'm watching back, it was a little bit of feeling. So here and there, the extra spark, and we could have made 
this thing. But again, it's Real Madrid, and we cannot play this game without respect and just say, who cares? Uh, white shirts, then the badge on the, on the shirt. There's Modric, Kroos, Casimir, whatever, Benzema, Vinicius, um, Valverde. So it's like all, all of them um, are absolutely world class. Now they have too many um, coming out. It's just, uh, it's, it's, it's a really a well set up team. So, um, and that's why it's so difficult. But it doesn't mean it's not, it's not possible. So, so we tried it in a final, but in the, the, the rounds before when they played City and PSG, I think both games look definitely like game over, <laughs> and it wasn't. Um, and that's their quality. And you, if you win the competition, some of their players won it f five times. Yeah, yeah. You probably think you own the competition, and they are probably right. I'm not sure, but we do still want to give it a try. We've got a lot of hands up. We won't get through everyone, so I apologise that. But if we can go to the gentleman in the red, please. <coughs> Jürgen, I, I believe you have been following what's happening to Vinicius in Spain, the constant abuse towards him. No. You're not? No. Okay. Um, some people say that what's happening, there is a factor that an aspect of his game is sometimes provocative, that creates some reaction. And you have faced Vinicius in Real Madrid three times. Um, I wonder if you have ever noticed any provocative behavior from him? I know, I understood the question. That he's doing something on the pitch which could cause what is what, what kind of things happen to him? So people, people are, yeah, most of the time, There's yes. There's nothing in the world who could exactly. justify that. Exactly. Whatever he's doing on the pitch, I don't know, but it would be nothing, so I don't think. <coughs> Imagine I would say, yes, this part of his game could cause, that's completely insane. No, nothing. Yes, as far as I know, he's a, he's a world-class player. Um, you should not leave him a lot in one-one situations or alone. Um, he was that night uh, with a really young age. Um, didn't get fast by the by the, the the way the game went. Like that, they were not always uh, dominant stuff like that. He was there in the decisive moment. Um, I'm pretty sure that makes him already uh, a Real Madrid legend at a very young age. And I hope he's not fussed by any idiots who say something about him. But I, I didn't, I, I heard, hear that now the first time. I, I don't read these kind of things, to be honest. Much appreciate it. Dave Mother. Jürgen, when, when, you, when you looked at the at the game, one of the features when you do look it back is that the atmosphere was was so wrong for a for a final for obvious <coughs> reasons. Um, I ju and it, it should be a celebration, but it, it clearly wasn't, and that affected the whole atmosphere. I just wonder whether you feel it's important that maybe Liverpool fans get the chance to have that celebration uh, in this game at Anfield yeah. instead. Look, I don't think I don't think we, we, we needed the Paris game to, to make this a special game. So that there's no there's there's a, a normal sports spill open. So we lost the game, and that's the good thing about sport. We want to put things right, and that's what we tried. That's all. There was nothing what happened in the Paris game around was responsible for Real Madrid. Nothing was responsible of our of our people. Um, but that game wouldn't have happened. This would be a massive game tomorrow night. It would be. Our people are football people. Um, and Real Madrid is in town. And celebrate this kind of event in the best possible way. How we did it over the last years. Um, I, I can't wait for them as well. So they just uh, enjoy that. The Real Madrid fans who come here should well, be welcomed in the best possible way. Go out in the city, uh, be in pubs and stuff like this, and enjoy your time here and and come to one of the most historical football places in the world. Um, yeah, and enjoy yourself. So that's that's right. And then two top teams face each other. So I can't see the why the the, the Paris final should be a reason to to enjoy it more. I, I don't know. Um, 
but I think we spoke enough about the Paris final, about the things what happened there, and you're right, the atmosphere, I watched I watch it back, but I watched football games without sound, so I cannot say anything about the atmosphere in that moment, um, but as I said, I heard a lot, and the mood people arrived in the stadium after making it into the stadium was absolutely not for watching a football game in the end, and um, so that's why uh, this day should have, should have been completely different. So, but we all know that. Last one, Sir Jack McBee, and the rope. ¿Qué tal, Jürgen? Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Mi pregunta es sobre Vinicius. Se ha enfrentado a ustedes tres veces. Les ha marcado tres goles. Quería saber. Ya ha comentado que el Madrid tiene muchos grandes jugadores, pero si tiene para mañana un plan especial para para defenderle. <laughs> viendo que es eh, el futbolista más desequilibrante. Yeah, well, you always do try. You have to you, you try to deny passes to to them, but the problem what we have is a little bit like um, if you can defend Vinicius properly, then there's Benzema. If you can defend him as well properly, then there's Valverde or Rodrigo or whoever. If you can defend all three, then Tony Kroos fires the ball from from 25 yards in the far corner. Luka Modric has an idea and, and goes through. The, so that's the, the too many picks up a ball and fires it from 25 yards or arrives in a box and heads it in. So. That's how it is with world-class teams, they have world-class players.